So this was the 3D printed size guide. And it's the same diameter, but you can only tell if you were to flatten them. Because the hard part is that the inside, as you can see, is actually flat. So it's important to get this part flat because this is actually the part that needs to be rounded and then clamped onto the throttle. The outside is actually rounded, which actually gives it extra strength and this is what makes it ergonomic to your hand. So it can't, the reason why the inside has to be rounded, it can't be, um, rounded or like it can't just be like um i don't know like anything cheaper than something where it would be thicker here and then flat here is because when these two vice grip onto your handle it has to make maximum contact which is why this right here was used as the model and then the outside doesn't really matter as far as how you know tall you want the actual ellipse as for your own comfort. <coughs> comfort. But the main goal was actually to make it so that the throttle itself, rather than being rounded like this, so there'd be no sense of you know what maximum or minimum is unless you actually drew a line on it or something like that. You could just have it so at resting position, it'd be like this. And at max position, it'd be like this. And so you'd always know exactly where the positions are. And it's much easier to kind of control because it also gives you a much wider diameter. Whether you're just holding it by the outside grips, like, you know, like because it's technically thinner diameter outside, or the middle where it's fattest, it's going to give you like a lot more diameter than the typical grips would because it's also an ellipse <laughs> so like you know it's as wide as it is it's like you know this is as tall as the grips of the bike would be and this is much wider but yeah that perfect size